We're here with uh, the First Lady Mary Pat Christie. Now, Mary Pat, let me ask you, we just finished our New Jersey Heroes yeah. celebration. What is this that we're looking at? Uh, this is the symbol for New Jersey Heroes. This particular prototype is made out of chocolate, given to me by my committee that helped me organize the event. Well, I'm going to let this go because if I don't, I'll be eating the whole thing a little bit later on. Mary Pat, let me ask you, we're here at Drum Thwack. It, it's so exciting on so many levels. Is this what you thought it would be? I didn't really have any plans for what New Jersey Heroes would be or what my role as First Lady would be. So I'm thrilled with what it's becoming and I'm really embracing it and, and trying to promote the pride in the whole state. What kind of feeling did you have listening to uh, or knowing about because, again, lots of folks wanted to be a New Jersey hero, but these organizations, what do they say, what do their leaders say uh, about what's possible? Well, one of the constant themes that I have found over the last year is that so many of these volunteer organizations are trying to instill a sense of pride in the people they're trying to help and a sense of independence, which can only help the entire state as we continue to kind of highlight what they're doing. Mm. And the other thing that's so important is that we've often said government can't, shouldn't do everything. A lot of it was about public-private partnership. That's key, isn't it? it? It really is, and it's something that all private, orga all public organizations are actually having to start to think about out of necessity from a financial standpoint. And I just think it's a healthy way to run any kind of business. And a lot of these people are also, a lot of these organizations are completely private as well, but there's a combination. I have to ask you, uh, we're, we're doing this during the holiday season. And by the way, I noticed that Drunk Wacket is packed, by the way, but as soon as we got here with the First Lady, everything got quiet. I don't know why. But I have to ask you, the biggest, how about this, the most enjoyable part of your job as First Lady? Oh, it's, it really is going out to all these organizations and feeling like people really want to see me because they feel like I can add some kind of stature to their organization. And by doing that, the fact that I can effectuate change and help any organization that I show up at it is remarkable to me. I never expected it. And now that I have real, come to realize it, I'm trying to embrace it and do as much as I can with it. I would be remiss here in Drunk Black if I didn't ask you this. Very often when we see the governor, he's, um, can I use the word strong-willed? Sure. And, and hence speaks his no mind. Um, in, in the Christie home, is it any different, significantly different? Um, we're a really good team. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's a real big, important part of our family, and, uh, and we have a great time as a team, really. What kind of dad is he? He's, he's a great dad. As, as I said, he is often he, the, the glue that holds us all together. He's the kind of dad that you go to when you have a real problem, and he's a great analytical mind and, and comes up with solutions really well. And I know that he's very committed to the work that you're doing with New Jersey Heroes. And by the way, there are many other organizations um, that are featured, many other initiatives that the First Lady is involved in on that website. It's not just New Jersey Heroes. He's totally committed to that effort. Yeah, no, he's committed to all that we're doing for sure. I mean, it gives him a sense of pride because, of course, he's a New Jerseyan through and through. He's been there. He's lived here in his entire life except for the four years at Delaware, University of Delaware, where he met me. <laughs> well, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait a minute. You said that with such great pride. Well, it was a, it was a good place to be. Is that the greatest moment in his life? <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mary Pat, I, I cannot thank you enough for inviting all of us into the official um, residence of the state of New Jersey, Drunk Wacker, to recognize New Jersey heroes. And by the way, I know that you cannot see because the camera's facing us, but there's a large group behind us. I would ask all of you to acknowledge the first lady of the great state of New Jersey, Mary Pat Christie. Thank you, thank you Mary Pat. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Thanks. Great. Appreciate great. it.